But we're love, everybody. We're love. We're love. Here's the biggest fan. Making sure everything's running fairly smoothly. So far, so good. Launching game overlay so I can actually see chat. Well, excuse me, princess. Yes, you're excused. All righty, let's get us started. Mother trucker. I say let's get started, but I forget there's always that, like, oh, don't tell me four out. Okay, one hour, one minute. <laughs> My heart skipped a beat. Four hours? Hell no. Nah. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. I think we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> Basically, Crux. What is thy name? There's the accounts. V. E. N. T. O. R. V E N T O R Ventor Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon Ventor Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Why are we always these errand boys in games? Like, why can't we do our own thing for once? I think we're falling. <laughs> Six. So what, are we uh, Arceus's errand boy now? I don't like being somebody else's errand boy. Wake up! Oh, did you wake up? Or no? Oh, do you wake up, won't you? Huh? Are you alive, my boy? He looks weird. <laughs> you gave me quite the shock. Falling from the sky like that. 
But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Oops. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Honestly, I doubt it. But uh, see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Please don't tickle my pickle. Also, since there's a crouch button, you can technically keep that. <laughs> Might I offer some directions? You have somewhere around here you could stay? No clue. But I'm assuming no, nowhere. So, you don't know anyone here? And you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Stay away from my pickle. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I'll find a way. Oh, uh, see? Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. <laughs> From. Plush, plush! Oh my, I completely forgot him. I had just got up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Oh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. I wouldn't be playing this if I didn't know what Pokemon were. Oh, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well these three Pokemon belong to me. Oh my, you can't have them. Mysterious creatures that they are, though. Oh yes, what might your name be? We asked you first, old man. Oh ho, so you're called Ventor. Better believe it. Your name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. I control the wind. I can make you suffocate. I can throw cars at you. However, I don't think there's cars in this game. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. It takes like five minutes to play, then you choose. Okay. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. Why do I feel like I've heard that phrase before? That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you forsaken me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me around the map? I beg you. My life depends upon it. Wait, you three! Wait! Oh, Laos, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some bogey balls their way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you about these three first? I'll pass. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. <laughs> Now yeah, one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Whoa.
The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawa. Oshawa nibs while floating on the water, and he can battle using the shell like object on his belly. It's also my least favorite of the three. The sound is echoing. Thank you. It is not echoing on my end, so I need to figure out what is going on with that. Splish splash! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. I'm not your boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50. I think that's a brand new record for Pokemon games. Ah, uh, we know what it is. Oh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? It will. I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. I'd rather you not. Now, I've mentioned already that these Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. Yes, I know already. What's so strange about them, you ask? I didn't ask. Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. I see. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, well, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Cool, can you stop talking now? I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. Yeah, I figured. You don't seem like a uh, popular type. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. You're not going to give me a choice, are you? Nope. Now, the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. It probably is, considering I just flew from the sky. <laughs> no, you cannot, Pikachu. No spoilers. Though, but far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay. We will start with Cyndaquil. Whoop! My controller popped off. There we go. Oops. I let go too soon. Why is this so dang sensitive? The fudge nugget. Bumped right on the head. Sorry, send a quail. Yay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. You've got a Pokemon. <laughs> it seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Ventor. Um, your laugh is weird. Jolly useful skill to have around here. <laughs> Only two of my darling runaways left now. I see why they ran away. <laughs> Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Why would I be? Alrighty, now we're looking for a Rowlet. Oshawott's over here by the- oop. Oh. Hi, Oshawott. I do not like how sensitive this is. I can hardly believe it, Ventor. Incredible, incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Not gonna lie, I think this is the most annoying Pokemon professor in all the games I've encountered. There's a Rowlet here. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Bonk. Uh oh. Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Why do I feel like you sabotaged me? I'm a Pokemon master. Wait, where did the Rowlet go? Oh, it's hiding. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief it is to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. So that's what you call it. They won't listen to anyone yet. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you come falling. But I must say, Ventor, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. I'm a master with balls. <laughs> how is that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I like how we just show this stranger our phone. Zeek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. <laughs> exactly, Crocs. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. You talk too much. My voice is starting to hurt using your voice. Exactly, Lex. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented. And not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation round for teamwork, don't you agree? Uh, no, no it's not. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, just leave me alone, let me do my thing. Nope. Come on now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? I just said no, but you're not giving a choice in the matter, are you? Well, uh... Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Well, uh... Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? I'm beginning to think this guy isn't human. I think he's a robot. Well, uh... <laughs> okay, I'll move on. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Is that all you say right now? No, you didn't convince me, but I don't have a choice in the matter. Then, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. That just sounds creepy. <laughs> no I almost I thought about doing it for a little bit longer but I want to get started on the actual game and get through all this tutorial we have a pokedex to complete first things first let's get these pokemon back to the village and we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that Follow me then, onward to Jubilam Village. <laughs> 